I'm Becky and I'm a Dorset Mind Youth Master. Today I'm creating a video to share some top tips on how to fight boredom. For me, I'm a complete and utter bookworm, so I love to read. So I'll either grab one off the shelf or I'll download a book on my phone. I could get stuck into this book for hours because I love how books open up your imagination and they just keep your mind occupied as you can get bored very easily when you haven't got anything to keep you occupied. And so even just going out for a quick walk, if you've got to take something to the post office, get some milk, just pop to the shops, you can go for walks with your friends, with your dogs. It's just nice sometimes to get fresh air as well, because fresh air is so good for you and can just kind of make you feel refreshed, because sometimes when you're bored you can get a bit um, down in that. So just getting some fresh air can really just help you bring up your mood and just stop you getting bored. Also, recently, with the restrictions and lockdown being in place, it can be hard if you get bored to go out and see a friend because that's what a lot of people would have done at the end of last year, beginning of this year. But obviously as it's lifting, it can still be quite scary in a way to go out and see your friends, and that's okay. Um, but one way you can still see your friends without having to worry about having to go out is by using FaceTime or Zoom or some sort of video chat. So I've been doing this a lot recently myself. I'll say to a friend, oh, do you want to FaceTime in an evening and we'll have a catch up. You can watch a movie, create a quiz. So you can still do all these fun things that can stop you getting bored and seeing your friends just without physically seeing them in person. So you can still have that security if you're a little bit worried. Also, I like to plan ahead, so I'll create a planner so I have things to look forward to, so you could do that. But sometimes the feeling of boredom comes from feeling disconnected from what you're doing. So sometimes it's good to ground yourself again in the present and remind yourself of why you're doing the things you are. And you can do this through meditation, maybe just making a list of things that you enjoy. So if you do get a bit bored, you can refer back to it. So you have a list there ready for you. So the main thing to take from this video is just to do things that keep you occupied, things you enjoy, sorry, and that's how really you can fight boredom. Just keep your mind occupied.